publicity hype, what you did was reprehensible. No, no. I think yes, yes, my friend. Not only did you criticise her work and values, but you proceeded to trash her belief system. Not only did I do her a favour by launching her career, I helped to bring an end to racial disharmony through the mutual hatred of me. You could have set the Indigenous rights movement back a hundred years. Lucky no one ever watched your show. <laughs> Hilarious. Honestly, aren't we all getting just a little too crazy with all of this racial sensitivity and political correctness? You know, I was talking to my dentist the other day, and I asked if I was going to need falsies. And he says, we don't like to use that term. We prefer to call them dentures. I mean, come on. You have no idea what joy it brings me. Do you see that none of you have changed a bit? Portnoy, the title. Have you considered any alternatives? No, it's the perfect title. You have a physical head fucker, which is the name the cops use to refer to the perpetrator. Plus, the main psycho and other main characters mess with the people's heads psychologically. Only the psychiatrist that helps with profiling is ethical. She is confronted with harassment because she is the first woman to consult with the FBI as a criminologist. Oh, she's like Frances Glesner Lee. Who's that? She was the first woman to work crime scenes using forensic techniques. She made dioramas that she called nutshells to teach students about the subject. She's very interesting. There you go. You could call it nutshells. No, head fuckers is the title. I'm not changing it. I just think your pitch will go a little bit better with a more PG title. It's not like the rest of the show is PG. No, this is the title. And don't try to make me change my mind because I won't. I know most people find it difficult to stick with their decisions to say no, but I won't. And I know that because I wrote a paper on it. Oh, well, I don't care. It's not like our names are on it. What are you two laughing at? Nothing. We're laughing at nothing at all. So shouldn't we discuss the motivation of the characters so we know what cases best suit the story? Maybe. M maybe. Well, is it for an audience expecting to be educated? Or? Or? To be entertained without having to think? I thought it was supposed to be a comedy. Yes, exactly. Alright, I'm going. Let me know if you sort out your story. I'll let you know when I get a green light. I'm meeting with some studio execs next week. Really? Wow. Women might finally start to like me. It's a pleasure meeting you, Mr. Cagney. Call me James, eh? I've read your synopsis, eh? I don't like the title. We can go ahead if you can find me a better title, say. Eh? So, what do you say? Well, the central character is based on Francis Glesner Lee, was the first person to use forensic dioramas to replicate crime scenes. Oh, oh, so it's based on a true story. Great, great. People love that. Great, great. They can be educated and entertained. They love that. So, what do you call it? Well, she would create dioramas of crime scenes that she called nutshells. So, so we could name the show after that. After what? The dioramas that she was famous for. We could call it nutshells. Oh boy, I love it. I love it. Very clever. Yes, very clever indeed. Well, my dear old Portnoy, we have a deal. We have a deal? Ma, you made it. You bring me each episode with that title and we have a deal. Well, Tyre came to me and beat me with it. Thank you so much, James. What? No matter. <laughs>